An awareness campaign on COVID-19 under the theme Protect Dimapur COVID-19 kick-started at Dimapur today. Addressing the gathering, Deputy Commissioner of Dimapur Anup Kinchi stated that coronavirus was here to stay and that we have to learn to adjust to new ways of living. He stated that though Dimapur has received more than 90% of the returnees from all over the country, cooperation from all quarters in Dimapur has enabled us to fight the pandemic so far. He further stressed on wearing face masks, maintaining social distancing and washing of hands regularly and urged everyone to follow the three golden rules for the safety of everyone. Administrator of Dimapur Municipal Council Albert Izung, addressing the gathering, maintained that the pandemic had brought many challenges to the society. Acknowledging the able leadership of the district administration, Izung stated that Dimapur, apart from other districts, had more problems to bear. However, he stated that under the leadership of the Deputy Commissioner of Dimapur and the COVID team, Dimapur has been able to handle the situation well. Convener of the campaign and pastor of Lotha Baptist Church in Dimapur, Yan Bemo Ovang, while addressing the volunteers, informed that the campaign would be carried out on alternative days till July the 31st. Anyone can join in as volunteer in this noble task, he said. He maintained that this campaign was not a mass distribution campaign, but a campaign to provide awareness to the people on the importance of maintaining the three golden rules. Those without masks were given face masks free of cost. He informed that the volunteers would be divided to eight groups and placed at eight strategic places all over the city. The Gauhati High Court has granted bail to RTI activists and farmers' organization Krishak Mukti Sangram Samiti leader Akhil Gogoi in three cases. The cases in Chabua police station lodged against Gogoi, in which he has been granted bail are 293-2019, 296-2019 and 307-2019, Akhil Gogoi's lawyer Krishna Gogoi informed. If the court grants bail to the KMSS leader in two other cases, including one case lodged by the National Investigation Agency and no fresh case is filed against him, he will be able to come out of jail. The two other cases in which Akhil Gogoi is yet to get bail are NIA cases number 13-19 and case number 1-20 lodged in Chabua police station. KMSS leader Gogoi, who has been in jail for the last eight months, recently tested positive for COVID-19 in Guwahati Central Jail. He is currently undergoing treatment in Guwahati Medical College and Hospital. Meghalaya Chief Minister Konrad Sangma today led the state in paying tributes to the World War I heroes on Garo Labour Corps Day. Sangma took to Twitter to offer his homage. Today, we celebrate the anniversary of the 69th Garo Labour Corps Day in honour of our Garo forefathers who offered their service in World War I in France. This day marks their safe arrival to our land and it is a celebration of their bravery that won them international recognition. On this day, the state salutes and pay homage to the 500 Garo men who were recruited by British 96 years ago in 1917 in the 69th Garo Labour Corps. Tributes were paid at the Cenotaph built in the memory of the Garo soldiers at Tura, the headquarters of West Garo Hills District. Garo Labour Corps Day is celebrated on July 16. The Garo men returned to India at Tura in Meghalaya from Marseille in France on this day. With increasing number of COVID-19 positive cases all across the nation, the COVID-19 status of the northeastern states are. Arunachal Stali stands at 491 positive, 335 active, 153 recovered and 3 deaths. Assam Stali has gone up to 19,755 positive, 6,810 active, 12,889 recovered and 53 deaths. Meghalaya Stali stands at 337 positive, 289 active, 46 recovered and 2 deaths. Manipur Stali has gone up to 1,700 positive, 620 active, 1,080 recovered. Mizoram Stali stands at 267 positive, 108 active, 159 recovered. Nagaland Stali stands at 916 positive cases, 525 active, 391 recovered. Tripura Stali stands at 2,281 positive, 660 active, 1,604 recovered and 3 deaths. 
Sikkim sterling stands at 222 positive, 122 active, 87 recovered. Total number of COVID-19 cases in the Northeast stands at 25,969 positive cases, 9,469 active cases, 16,409 who have recovered and 61 deaths as of July 16, 2020. From all of us here at NEAID, stay strong and stay safe.